tender with a rich buttery taste. Perfect as an appetizer or side. We're talking about fondant potatoes, a French classic. Fudgy inside and crispy outside with an intense flavor that can only come from cooking them in rich broth and butter. In this video, we'll show you two ways to prepare these irresistible potatoes. We start with the easiest method, the one that requires the least prep. Which potatoes to choose? For fondant potatoes, we want a potato with a firm and compact texture, somewhat waxy. A red or yellow potato will work great. Avoid white potatoes or russets because they are too starchy and are likely to crack in the oven. Great, so what do we do next? Well, peel them, of course, and let them soak in water until we are ready. And now we simply need to give them one of the classic fondant potato shapes, the shape of a large olive. But first we cut the potato in half. And then if you want, you can refine the shape with a potato peeler, like this. Of course, we'll use any potato scraps for something else, like a simple puree. And here it is. We'll just finish the rest, and they are ready for the pan. Look how lovely, more or less the same dimension. These fondant potatoes will be cooked entirely in the oven. Therefore, we need a pan large enough to hold them all, without them overlapping. And now we'll simply slow cook the potatoes in broth and butter, the hallmark of fondant potatoes. We recommend using the best broth you can find. All of the flavor is coming from the broth, so choose wisely. Even better, make the broth yourself. Here we are using a fond brun. To learn how to make it, search for the recipe on our cooking channel. As you can see, we are adding enough broth to cover the bottom quarter of our potatoes. And now we add the butter and a few leaves of sage and rosemary. Salt only if needed, or if the broth is lacking in salt. But be careful because the potatoes will be absorbing all of this liquid, and it's into the oven at 160 degrees Celsius for an hour, or until the broth is totally absorbed. Here we are, the broth is almost totally absorbed. The potatoes are cooked and soft. Now we finish them in the oven for another quarter of an hour to absorb the rest of the broth. See how the potatoes have absorbed all of that rich broth? Already you can see the soft and rich texture. And now we just crisp up the outsides. We are adding clarified butter, or you can add an oil with a high smoke point. Raise the temperature to 240 degrees Celsius and leave the potatoes cook until you can see a lovely golden crust forming. You can also use grill with care. And look at these beauties. We love fondant potatoes. They are perfect as an appetizer or a side. They smell amazing. With a uniquely soft and buttery texture. And now let's see how to take our fondant potatoes to another level in the next recipe. We want to choose the same potatoes as before. Peel and then cut them, but with a different shape. This time we want to give them the form of cylinders. And we can use a knife to do this, or a cookie cutter. First, we'll show you how to give the potatoes this shape with a knife. We just want to create flat bottom and tops, and they need to be very flat, because otherwise we can't give them an even crisp. Now, 
Now we'll turn the potatoes and with a knife give the sides a rough round shape. We can refine the sides with a potato peeler. And here they are. They are pretty good cylinders, but we can do better and do it faster with a cookie cutter. We create flat bottoms and tops, and then use the cookie cutter. It's as easy as child's play. And look at the perfection. You'll get about one two inch or five centimeter diameter cylinder per potato. So think about this when you're choosing your potatoes. Lovely. It's normally expected that you'll make about two potatoes a person. And again, we have some potato scraps. But like before, we'll just use them to make a puree, a gratin, and we move on to the cooking. In this recipe, we'll do that in two parts. First, we'll cook them in the pan. Therefore, it's important to choose the right pan for the job, because our pan will be going directly from the stovetop to the oven. Use either a carbon steel or cast iron pan. They are both excellent for searing and braising. It's also better here to use a frying pan with straight edges over a skillet with flared edges. Here we are going to use cast iron. And now let's talk about the butter. We want to use clarified butter for this dish because it has a higher smoke point. Don't worry, you can quickly make clarified butter at home with normal unsalted butter. Watch our other video for the details. Fondant potatoes are cooked with butter and broth, but we start by browning the outside. And look at that. We are already at 200 degrees Celsius, 390 degrees Fahrenheit, with zero smoke because we are using the clarified butter. Hear how they sizzle. At this temperature, it won't take long. We start by browning one side first. Then we flip the potatoes once that first side is browned. Finally, we roll the sides of the potatoes in the pan to brown that as well. Look at the crispy exterior that is forming. This is the Maillard reaction between carbohydrates and proteins in the potato. Put another way, we are caramelizing the outside of the potatoes. This reaction produces many molecules which impart fragrance and flavor to our dish. Beautiful. We turn the potatoes and we are almost there. Now we just crisp out the sides. Perfect. Look at the lovely color, the crispiness. Now we just want to cook these beauties in broth. Use the best broth you can find, the butter we already have, and it's into the oven at 160 degrees Celsius for about an hour or until the broth is completely absorbed. And here are our lovely fondant potatoes. Let's see if they're done. And they are. But we want to make our potatoes still more crispy. And it's enough to add a bit of butter and put these on grill for a minute or so. And they are ready. Irresistible. All that's left to do is put them on our plate and into our mouths. Perfect as an appetizer or side. Garnish as you like. For instance, with some fresh tarragon or chives. Or use a demi-glace as we're doing here. You can check our channel for that recipe as well. Let's have a look inside and a little taste. These potatoes have a buttery heart, which contrasts perfectly with their crispy outsides. All of the aroma and taste of that delicious broth. They are unbeatable potatoes for a special occasion. And don't forget to subscribe to the Piatto Recipes channel. Click the bell for new video notifications and let us know in the comments how your fondant potatoes turn out. E buon appetito!